What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm showing you one of my all time favorite holiday side dishes. This is my recipe for sweet potato casserole. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, enough running my mouth, time to get in the kitchen and make it happen. In order to make sweet potato casserole, we first need sweet potatoes. Make sure they're nice and clean, and then you wanna take a nice sharp fork and puncture the potatoes all over. This will prevent them from exploding on you in the oven or the microwave. I do recommend baking these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or so, uh, or until they're nice and tender. You can also speed this up and put them in the microwave, but I do not recommend boiling them because when you boil sweet potatoes, you lose a lot of the natural sugar that's in there and you're losing some flavor with that as well. And we don't wanna lose any flavor for this recipe. Once they're nice and tender, we're gonna slice them in half. And then essentially we're just getting the sweet potatoes out from that skin. So take your spoon and gut them into a mixing bowl as you see me doing right here. We're using about two pounds total of sweet potato for this recipe. As always guys, specific measurements and ingredients are listed for you in the description box below. Once we've got all of our delicious sweet potato in that mixing bowl, it's time to break out the potato masher or a fork or spoon, whatever you got, and just break up all the big pieces. We're gonna break out that old uh, hand mixer here in just a minute to make sure everything's nice and smooth, but just get yourself started. We're adding in a half cup of white sugar and a half cup of brown sugar, a little bit of ground cinnamon, followed by some melted butter. This is definitely one of my favorite recipes. Little ground nutmeg as well. Wouldn't be Thanksgiving without some nutmeg. A little whole milk. You can use a milk substitute if you like for my lactose intolerant folks. Give that a nice mix and then break out that hand blender. No, I have not upgraded my hand blender just yet. I promise I will soon. This thing's still kicking though. Grating in some lemon zest about a quarter teaspoon or so of that, just to add some nice uh, freshness to the dish. It really adds a lot of good flavor. Also adding in some vanilla extract, and then we're gonna mix that in as well. It's very important to taste this as you go before you add your eggs, that way you can adjust the flavors as needed. Adding in some uh, all-purpose flour there, that's gonna be our binder to thicken things up a bit, give us that casserole consistency. And once the flavor is right where you want it, we're gonna add in two beaten eggs and just blend until everything is nice and combined. Looking good. Once that's done, we're gonna start on our pecan topping. So we're going in with one cup of chopped pecans, one cup of brown sugar, a few dashes of ground cinnamon, a half cup of all-purpose flour, Added a pinch of salt in there as well. Give that a nice mix, make sure everything is well combined. And then we're gonna add five tablespoons of melted butter. And just toss that mixture in that melted butter until it's beautifully coated as you see here. And you have a nice coarse pecan topping to go on your sweet potato casserole. This happens to be my favorite way to do it. Uh, I know there's folks out there that like to top theirs with marshmallows, but don't worry, I have you covered as well. We want to keep everybody nice and happy on Thanksgiving. As you can see here, I have two smaller casserole dishes to appeal to both uh, varieties of sweet potato casserole. If you have a favorite, go ahead and choose that and you can use one large uh, casserole dish instead. We'll make sure our oven is preheated to 325 degrees. If you're in the marshmallow camp, let me know in the comments. Just top your uh, casserole with the marshmallows. I like to, like to use the minis because they melt nicely. And then for the real ones like myself who like the pecan topping, go ahead and uh, top your casserole dish with that crumble we made just a moment ago. Oh man, that looks good. Pop that in that 325 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until it looks like this. Little holiday food porn for you guys. I think that counts as a money shot. Then play Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo and decide which one you want to taste. I think you guys know which one I'm going for. And for talking smack, I think I'm about to burn my mouth. Oh, sh**. All right, let's try this again. Need a good ratio of sweet potato to topping. 
Make sure you blow on it 37 times so you don't burn your mouth again, smart guy. You know I gotta taste this recipe. Oh man, that's good. Hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Happy holidays to you and yours. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for your support.